Photosynthesis makes chemical energy from sunlight With light-dependent and independent reactions, all right We will cover light-dependent reactions And for your information, these take place in the thylakoid And involve photoexcitation Photons give electrons higher energy excitations Used by the electron transport chain for energy generation Mobile carriers shuttle these electrons with a perk Electrons going to lower energy states do work Plant leaves have chlorophyll That's what makes them green If you check inside their chloroplast This pigment can be seen Chloroplast contains stroma And thylakoid disc stacks called granum Here mobile electron carriers and complexes work in tandem The thylakoid is where you'll find The electron transport chain Here are names of complexes On the thylakoid membrane Photosystem 2 oxygen evolving complex Cytochrome B6F photosystem 1 ferrodoxin and ADP reductase And ATP synthase Now here are the mobile electron carriers The ETCs auxin, plastoquinone QB, plastocyanin, ferrodoxin Now we've set the stage, the process will review The light dependent reactions Begin with photosystem 2, photosystems 1 and 2 have chlorophyll molecules Because for photo excitation These are useful tools A photon hits a chlorophyll Between chlorophylls its energy hops As resonance energy until at the reaction center it stops There it excites an electron But one does not suffice Two electrons are excited The process happens twice Meanwhile the oxygen evolving complex gets unstable Due to the excited electron, this complex is now able to split water molecules through photooxidation, bringing two key benefits to the plant solution. First, the two electrons used by photosystem two are replaced. Note the splitting creates oxygen by product waste. Second, a proton gradient starts to build up when water splitting releases hydrogens into the lumen. As protons in the lumen increase in concentration, a gradient builds. They want the stroma as their location. Next, the electrons are grabbed by plastoquinone QB from the reaction centers. Chlorophylls, they are free. The electrons are shuttled to cytochrome B6F by plastoquinone QB, which also transfers two protons from stroma to lumen C. This increases the proton gradient, which then continues to grow. As cytochrome B6F transfers another two protons, yo! Plastocyanin now transfers the electrons to photosystem 1 Where they again get excited by photons from the sun Ferrodoxin transfers them to ferrodoxin and ADP reductase Which uses the electrons and a stroma proton to make NADPH from NADP+, which stores that energy Since NADPH has higher energy, which is key a stroma proton is removed, increasing the proton gradient, which in light dependent reactions is the key ingredient. ATP synthase lets the protons cross the membrane, harnessing their energy, which ATP now gains from lumen to stroma. The protons want to diffuse when three pass through the complex. One ATP is produced by combining ADP and an organic phosphate. Now onto the next song. Light independent reactions. Great!